two things that are very important to you in your design is number one, ensuring that you have the proper clearances around islands, and number two, knowing exactly how much space you have available to place your cabinetry. As an example, let's start with knowing how much space is left to place an item on your plan. Let me zoom in on my lower left-hand corner of my screen. You'll notice that we have wall 33, 36 as in a row of base 33s, but we have additional space here on the left-hand side. I can tell exactly what that dimension of that open space is by, and this is where I want you to pay attention, in the upper left-hand corner in your information screen, this is where you're going to see this information. I'm going to take my cursor and place it next to the base 33, and on the left-hand side, you'll see it says base space 33, wall space 33. If I move to the other side of the diagonal line, it tells me on the other wall that I have available 39 inches of open space. Now, you might have noticed that I double-clicked out on the floor plan. Occasionally, when you move your cursor into the open space, the dimension, the dimension doesn't pop up right away. One of the little tricks that I like to use is I move my cursor to an open space, just double-click to clear everything out, and then go ahead and move the mouse cursor back, and your dimension appears instantly. Now, ensuring clearances around your island. We need to know what the distance is between the countertop edge here and the countertop edge there. We'll do the same thing on the right. We do this by adding user dimensions. User dimensions can be found under the dimensions feature at the top of your screen. I like to go to what's called linear, and in this case, because they're straight lines, I'll use linear and I'll use what's called line to line. Now, when I click on line to line, if I move my cur uh, sorry, cursor close to the front edge of the countertop, you'll see the line turns green. If I move up closer to the uh, dishwasher, in this case, the dishwasher turns green. So the green line always indicates what you're dimensioning from and to. I will left click on that line. I will move my cursor down to the island to the front edge of my countertop. I will left click again. There's my dimension. Let me do that again. Let's do it on the other side. We'll go dimensions, highlight linear go to line to line. We will click on the right side of this countertop, move across the aisle to the other countertop and click, and once again you'll notice that you have dimensions. Your dimensions aren't always exactly where you want them to be placed. You have the ability to move them by a one-click edit. Hold your left button down on any dimension and just move it to exactly where you want the dimension to be placed. If you wanted to delete a dimension after placing it, Right click on the dimension and choose delete and your dimension is gone.